Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm the Moon Mama. How's everybody doing today? What a full moon we had yesterday. Wow. We're still in the full moon energy. Full moon energy lasts for three days. Um, it really starts, you know, kind of like 12 hours before the actual full moon. Yesterday's full moon happened at 12, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in Sagittarius. And I believe it was at like 15 degrees of Sag. Sag is a really incredible energy. Um, one of the things I love about the Sagittarius constellation is that it has the galactic center in it. <laughs> the galactic center is like the Milky Way. And what I like to think of is that the galactic center is like the womb of the universe. In my mind, I envision this incredible black hole and this woman's cosmic legs coming out and everything that comes out of this center is, you know, here, it's it's where this world is born. It's, it's um, all the energy, all the force um, that, and everything comes from it. And, you know, it's also mysterious. We don't know what it is, but last year they actually took a picture. They actually, for the first time, were able to take a picture of the black hole or the Milky Way or something like that. So go do, Google it. It's, it's just profound, but Sagittarius has the galactic center at, um, I believe 26 degrees and it's, it's all the power. It's, it's all the power of everything. And so this, this full moon is very, very powerful because it wasn't conjunct the galactic center, but it doesn't matter. It's still in that area. So, and it's an eclipse and we're going to be having, um, we're in our eclipse season now. So we're going to have an eclipse at the next new moon in cancer. And then we'll have another eclipse at the full moon in Capricorn. Wow, we are going through it, <laughs> okay? I just want you all to know we are in a whole new thing. Um, so Sagittarius is the energy of truth. It's like, what is your truth? What is your faith? What is your faith in? Um, what do you believe? What are you living? You know, how do you live your truth? How do you actually live it? You know, and for me, it's an interesting thing. It's like, you know, so as we're going through this experience now in our world, like I know for me, I'm an anarchist. Like I believe in the complete and utter um, destruction of our government. And I that's a hard thing to say out loud. It's a hard thing to feel inside of myself because I also like comfort, <laughs> you know? It's it's a weird thing. It's a, it's a, it's a mix, you know? Um, but I have lived you know, I have lived in poverty here. I have seen what goes on in this country. Um, I have studied history and I know that every system in this country is designed to subject and oppress black people, every single one of them. So the reason I want anarchy is because I know that the systems cannot work in favor of us. I'm clear about that. So the only way I see fit that it's, 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 you know, and here's the thing and anarchy doesn't have to mean war. It just means that we wake up and see what we're actually doing. It means that we realize that we are actually doing harm to people. And when we're harming people, we're harming ourselves. That's the challenge, is that to understand that whatever we do to someone else, we're fucking doing it to ourselves because this is an energetic system. And so ultimately, everything is cause and effect. So if we are harming one group of people, and I know I'm in that group that's being harmed, but if I was a white person, I would understand that if we're do if I'm doing harm, that harm is going to come back and bite me in the ass. So the system has got to fucking change. But we don't get that. We don't get that. We think that something is happening out there, but nothing is happening out there. It's all internal. We are one body, whether we know it or not and whether we like it or not. It's just what it is. It's just the facts. And so based upon the facts, you know, do we want to continue to do things that harm people? 
and understand that whatever it is we're putting out is gonna come back to us. And so this is why I'm in this conversation about Trump and have been for, you know, since his election, since Barack Obama. So I've shared with you guys before. So when Barack Obama was elected, I wrote a book called Open Your American Heart from Personal Responsibility to Collective Accountability because my intention was to, to teach people that if we can embrace our oppositions, if we can embrace and look at the parts of ourselves that are at odds with ourselves and recognize that we have everything within us, everything, that is the thing about this universe. Everything is everywhere. Maybe you have 0.0001% of evil in you, but you still got evil in you because that's how it works. Everybody has everything in them. And when we understand that, that the creator of this universe is not a human and is not um, thinking this is good and this is bad, everything is energy. Everything is creative force. How you use it is what matters. But you have access to everything. You don't have to use it evilly. You know, like, listen, evilly is not a word. You don't have to use it in, in a way that harms other people, but you still have access to it. You can use that energy that is destructive and um, deeply dark and negative to create. That's what the black hole is. Everything comes out of the blackness, out of the darkness, and it's your choice how you use it. The question is, are you, are you strong enough to take a really powerful dark energy and use it for good? Or will you allow that energy to use you? you know, to be used, to be used in, by it and not you using it. It's all consciousness. And so my thing with Trump is that I know that I have that inside of me because everyone does. There's this um, mythology. I, I love Egyptian, um, Egyptian comedic mythology. And I got this incredible book the other day called The Book of Symbols. And it's all about, you know, understanding the symbols of the universe. But in um, Egypt, there's this mythology that says, or I guess it would call a fable, where it says, um, you know, someone stood at the bank of the Nile and they needed to cross the Nile. But the Nile was filled with crocodiles. And so how did they go across the Nile? What did they do to get across? So if you need to get across a river and it's filled with crocodiles and your only way is to go through the river, how do you do it? How will you successfully do it? You become a crocodile. And the, the moral of this story is that you have everything within you. You can become a crocodile. So if you want to survive crocodiles, you become a fucking crocodile and you swim to the other side of the river and then you get out of the river and you turn back into what it is that you are. In order to fight or to win, you have to understand the art of war. And it means you have to take on the essence and the energy of your enemy because you can you have that essence, that power within you to win by taking on the essence, by becoming the very thing that you are fighting against. You have to become it to neutralize it inside of you. You can't, you can't beat it on the outside. You have to beat it on the inside of you. And so this is this work, understanding that we have to become the monster that we're fighting. And when we... If we want to kill the monster, we have to kill it on the inside of us. You can't kill it on the outside of you. So I know I'm talking high magic right now. This is high magic. And most people are not ready for it. But maybe we are. Maybe we are. I know I didn't think I was ready for it. And it's scary. But really, it's just you. And it's really nothing to be afraid of. Do not be afraid of yourself. Look at your shadow. If you just start looking at your shadow, you will source the power to beat the monster because it's inside of your shadow. Your power to beat the monster inside of you is within your shadow. And so if you're ready to do the work, come and work with me. So the um, Saturn, today is a Saturn day. 
The color for Saturn is black. That's why I'm wearing black today. Um, Saturn is in Aquarius and Aquarius is what? The anarchist. It's about rebelling against the current constructs. And Saturn there, the way to rebel against the current constructs, it's really internal, is to get clear about who you really are, who you really are, who the fuck you really are. And we think we're this thing that this Western culture has told us that we are, but we are so much more than that. We are divine beings. We are made in the image and likeness of God. We have powers and gifts and potentials beyond our understanding. And we can feel it. We can feel it waking up inside of us. We can feel the questions. We can feel that we don't fit in. We can feel that there's something else. And you have to go inside of yourself to find it. That's the only place to find it. And so while Saturn is in Aquarius, it's Aquarius is the, um, the mind of God. And so Saturn is this 3D reality, structure, time, discipline. And so if you want to understand the mind of God, you've got to create structures, discipline, time, study. You've got to study yourself. And that's the work that I'm doing. I'm helping people understand themselves so that we can gather our energy back, gather our true power back to become who we're here to really be. And let me say, we're going to win this thing. It doesn't matter because it's not going away. So the only way to make progress is to look at yourself and it's not going anywhere. So you have to do it one way or another. You're going to have to do it. So I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And I encourage you to look at yourself and to give yourself the willingness, the, the love to see your shadow, to see all that you are. Um, Mercury in retrograde. Mercury, we're in the Mercury retrograde window right now. Mercury's going to be retrograding in Cancer. I encourage you to look, look at, you know, look at your lineage, look at your culture in this country. You know, this conversation around whiteness, right? Whiteness is a made up construct. White people abandon their nationalities so that they could seek and source power through white superiority. So white people are not white. They're Irish. They're Italian. They're from, um, they're from Britain. They're from, you know, Spain, like wh whatever these, this is what whiteness really is. Right. And they came here to America and in order to get benefit from the, the, the prosperity of America, they had to abandon that nationality and become white. And so look at what your ancestors did. Well, look at what your ancestors gave up. Your ancestors sold their soul to the devil in order to get, you know, power here. And look at what that power is doing now. So this is what the Mercury retrograde energy is. It's going to be the opportunity in cancer because the United States is a cancer for us to look at the choices that our ancestors made, look at how we have been indoctrinated into it, and then begin to change our minds about it. It's it. It's all about self-forgiveness, doing the, the internal work, and restoring yourself to who you truly are. Okay, if you'd like to do natal chart readings, join the Venus Retrograde course. You could do it all in my link tree here. Everything is here in my link tree. Just go to my profile and check it out. Um, and today we're going to be doing 13 Moons um, marketing. The new 13 Moons starts in a week. We're doing the marketing on, it's the moon and Cancer. So I have so many classes going on right now, okay? If you want to join the 13 Moon, send me a private, we're, the 13 Moons Marketing, send me a private message and I will send you the link. We're having a webinar today, a free webinar today at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you like the link to that, send me um, a private message and I will get it to you. Peace and blessings. I'm the Moon Mama. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.